Hi, welcome to the Sky Studio tutorial series. Sky Studio brings extensive customization without sacrificing performance, so you can build beautiful and engaging content. Today we're going to talk about how to customize the fog in the scene. Before we get started, let's make sure we're all looking at the same scene. Go ahead and open up Funly Sky Studio, Tutorials, Basic Starter, and let's go ahead and just duplicate this scene, Basic Starter, and open it up so we don't modify the original. So now we have that open, let's go ahead and set up a sky profile in the scene. Let's go to Sky Studio, set up sky, and I'm going to go ahead and open up, create a new sky based on night sky. Um, let's go do night cloudy sky with dark clouds. That's a great one. So now we have a sky uh, set up here, and this tutorial is about fog. So before we enable the fog here in the scene, I want to kind of show you what it's like not having fog in Sky Studio or in your Sky product. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the lighting tab. If you don't know how to get your lighting tab, you can actually go to Window, and then Rendering, and then open up Lighting Settings. Sometimes they move it around in different versions of Unity, but you should be able to find it under um, the Window section here of it somewhere. Now, inside the lighting section, if you scroll down to the bottom, by default, fog is not enabled in Unity. Um, but, but this is something that's common for people to want to enable in games, so let's go ahead and just turn it on. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and change this to exponential. I always think that looks a little bit nicer, and you can see how now these, for example, this red rectangle here is now caught in the fog a little bit. And the fog starts at the distance and then comes in towards the camera. And you get this really abrupt line that happens here with the, with the sky. And this is because uh, Unity's version of fog does not also um, get set into the skybox. And so Sky Studio has integration to be able to bridge those two worlds to make, it, make a less abrupt edge there. So let's go back to our Sky System controller. In the inspector here, let's open our sky profile up again. And let's go ahead and just enable the fog. So I'm going to click it and let's go down to the fog section here and there's just a few controls and that's all we need. So let's go ahead and bring up the density and now you'll notice as I raise the density here we're getting the uh, the sky box at the distance now is matching the fog color in the scene. So I can bring the height down and what's going on here is there's a gradient that's being reached up into the sky uh, that fades out. And so that's, that is our fog integration. What we try to match the colors. So if I bring this up to all the way, you'll notice we completely match Unity's fog. And then we eventually fade out to our true sky gradient colors that we have up here. Um, we can bring the height of this down if you don't want it to be reached so far into the sky. And you usually also want to bring it, it's okay for the ground fog to be a little denser. Sometimes it can be a little lighter there. Something like that looks nice. But this controls the height at which that gradient reaches up into the sky. Something around there looks nice. And now you get a nice bridged, um, bridged fog, which I think looks really nice. Updating the global fog color. Um, this is a, a nice feature that will, will basically tie together the color of our version of fog, which is in the sky box, and Unity's version of the fog, which is in the ground in the scene, in the different in the scene itself. So notice if I go ahead and I bring this to red, we have red now in the skybox. And then we also here in the scene uh, that's happening on the ground plane is also picking up the red. And if you go ahead just to see what's happening, if you go back to your lighting tab, you'll notice that Unity's fog is set to red here as well. It's worth mentioning that Sky Studio doesn't try to go and reinvent the wheel with um, the different other settings that Unity has for fog. If you want to go control those different options, just go into Unity's lighting tabs and adjust them. Is all Sky Studio is going to try to manage here is just the fog color. That's it for the, sky, for the fog integration in Sky Studio. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in a future video.